Hello, this is Escape the Cubicle. My name is Graham Brown. I want to talk about fear and the power of fear, both as something that can stop you achieving your dreams and also something that can help you achieve your dreams. So you're thinking about this project, this amazing project that you want to work on. Could be a business idea, could be a project within a business, could be a partnership. You want to do it. When you think about it, you feel butterflies in your stomach. Your heart feels like it's beating faster. You know this is something you want to do. You know it's something you can do because you have the skills. And you know that if you don't do it and you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to die a slow, certain death from boredom or maybe your skills are becoming less valued in the modern marketplace. You know you need to make this change. So what's stopping you? Well, it's not a lack of resources. And you don't need any more knowledge, money, or time. What's stopping you is fear. You see, between where you are now and your next amazing adventure, there's this big chasm. It's called fear. It could be fear in many different formats. Fear of what others think, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of missing out, looking stupid, etc., etc. And what I want to share with you now is this idea that fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. Now, we kind of know that. You kind of know that fear is holding you back, don't you? But what I want to share with you now, and this is really exposing fear for what it is, isn't that fear is the enemy. It's how fear manifests in our life that we need to be aware of. You see, when fear manifests in our life, it doesn't frighten us. It doesn't scare us. It doesn't make us cower into the corner, scared of what other people might think or scared of failure. You know, it's not this big monster You see, if fear was like that, it would be all too obvious. Fear would be this big monster, this demon in our life, which we could easily slay. You know, we wanted to go and do this amazing project, this amazing business idea, but this monster fear turned up and we recognized it and we slew the demon. That'd be too easy, but it doesn't work like that. And the reason is, you know, fear have walked side by side with us human beings as a species for millions of years it's kept us alive so to do that and you've got to remember that the the goal of our species is not to be happy is not to be not to live a fulfilled happy life the goal of our species is to survive and if that's the case the most effective tool to do that is fear so fear isn't this sort of you know thing that kind of this specter that haunts us throughout our lives because it's just an annoyance. It's there for a reason. It's there because for millions of years, it's kept us alive as a species and probably will do from here on. You know, fear stopped us wandering into the woods at dark, right? Where there was strange creatures that, you know, would jump on us or sting us or eat us. That worked. So there's a reason why it's there. And if fear was so obvious, we would have rejected it. We would have said, oh, okay, you know, well, you know, it's so obvious that this is fear. I can get rid of this and then I can move on with my life. But if that was the case, then a lot of people would have, well, we as a species would have been wiped out millions of years ago because fear kept us within these parameters of what would have kept us alive. You know, it, it basically, what fear did was eliminate the outlying behaviors that put our species at risk. And we still have the architecture. So the outlying behaviors are things like taking risks, going and starting a business. Because the dominant narrative today is get a job, work hard, get promoted, get a better car, a bigger house, a better job, etc., etc. That's the dominant narrative. And the outlying behavior is to become an entrepreneur and to do these things like follow this next amazing adventure, whether it be starting this project or going and traveling the world. That's the outlying behavior. So fear holds us back. And my point is, is that fear is not the obvious demon <clears throat> that we we kind of expect it to be. Instead, 
And this is the key. Fear appears as a comfortable rationale.